we can have the recording. Uh, welcome everyone. So let's introduce ourselves for those of you that can talk. Uh, Amanda's ready. Amanda, tell us where you're from and uh, what, it, what, what, do you, what do you love? What do you do? Tell us how your week was, just a few words. Hi, my name is Amanda. I'm from Colombia, but I live in the UK for many years. I'm a pediatrician, but I'm developing this great business. So I'm very passionate about the products and the business itself. It's great. Beautiful. And uh, who else wants to say hello? Alex, are you available? Alex is from Kenya and Alex is one of our superstars in Kenya and uh, he is amazing. I'm, I'm sure he's... Uh, yes. Oh, there he is. Hey, Alex. Hello, hello. Introduce yeah, hi, yourself. Claudia. Hi, Claudia. Hi, Samanda. So this is Alex. I'm from Kenya. I just watched this, so I'm, I just logged in to see what are we going to talk from this wonderful lady who is going to present about Facebook. And uh, thank you very much, Claudia, for making it to be live because I'm trying to share also to my timeline so that people can also listen to it. Thank you very much, and I'm very happy to be here. Perfect. Yeah, just go on my Facebook right now and share it to your own Facebook so that your friends can watch it. Very good. You, you caught on to it. So that's what we want to do. We want to maximize what we can do with Facebook. And if it's free trainings where we're not really trying to share product or services or anything, Facebook will, will share it because it's just free information out there for the world. So who else wants to introduce themselves? I know that um, uh, Seraphine said hi, but I don't know if she had a mic. Hi, yeah, I am, uh, oh. Oh. I am here. Hi, um, hi, everyone. I'm excited to join you today. I'm from Nairobi, Kenya, and I love for life. I love network and building, dealing with uh, building people, and I'm happy to be here. Plus, I love Rio Vida. It's my favorite product, actually. Thank you. Uh, oh, very good. It is my favorite. It's one of my favorites, too. So it's, it's, it's interesting how we can do that in a bottle. Very good. Thank you, Seraphine, for joining us from Kenya. So we got two from Kenya, one from UK, two from Canada. And Dahlia and Jasmine, if you would like to introduce yourself, and then we're going to start our class because it's past our class today. Dahlia. Hello, this is Dahlia. Hello, this is Dahlia. I'm from Houston, Texas. From I'm where? Oh, Houston, Texas. Yeah, okay. I started um, probably like a week and a half ago, and I'm just introducing myself to the business and, and trying to get um, information here, and actually order some products that I love. Um, I'm using the burn right now, and also the recall. Ah, very good. Did you say you joined only a week and a half ago? Yes. Wow, we have a welcome. Nice Congratulations. Welcome to the family. Wow, very good. We, we, we love that you're here. And uh, Evelyn, oh, sorry, Dahlia, oh, she's finished. And Evelyn, I saw you on your phone. Are you ready to introduce yourself? Yes. Good morning. Good morning. This is very exciting to be able to connect with other women and, and to be able to grow with the knowledge, which is, that's what I'm looking for. I wasn't, um, I wasn't well for a long time, and now that I'm feeling better that I can do something like this big, uh, I'm putting myself out there to learn and so I'm looking forward to learn how, how to do it on Facebook. I think that that's been like a mystery to me how, how to do it. So very good, very good. Evelyn, where are you? Where are you? Uh, where are you at right now? What city and country? San Diego, California. Ah, another San Diego. Yes. And, oh, yeah. We, we, we talked about Emily. Yeah, but she was the one that was early here. Sorry, Emily, if you, if you took off your camera. And perfect. We only have one more that is on our Zoom, which is Jasmine. Jasmine, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. Good hey. morning. Good morning. Hi, Jasmine. Are you hearing me? Yes, yeah, yes. I hear you. Okay, good morning. Actually, I'm using my daughter's um, Zoom account. That's why it has um, 
Jasmine. Yeah, but it's similar. My name is Jerry Smith. I am with you guys going for some days now, going for like a week. I contact Miss Shana. But I find this um everything very interesting, interesting, you know, and I like it. The first meeting I attend on um Zoom, it was like so impressive, you know, I was impressed by everything, you know. I like to get into more and learn more about this kind of feel, you know. I really mm -hmm. interested in it, you know, it gives me more drive, more potential to do things. Jasmine, we're so happy to have you here. Jasmine is from Coinders team and she's a great example of what Coinders is going to teach today because we found Shana, who she just mentioned, on the group that we have been talking about earlier. So, so it's great because it actually, Jasmine is proof of how she got to this class and how excited she is to join. And so that, you know, working on Facebook, it does work. And so it's a great example. Okay, one more and then we start because uh, our San Guatemala just came in, and then we're going to start. San Guatemala, I love when they put their name, but then they don't really have the name. So, uh, San Guatemala, do you want to introduce yourself? Thank you, Jasmine. You can mute yourself, and Seraphine, too. San Guatemala, oh, okay, well, we're going to stop at San, because then if they start coming in, we'll take a long time. Anybody okay. going to, like, uh, introduce themselves? Okay. Let's start, Kawinda, because I know it's a long class and it's 10.16 now. So welcome, pa Paulo Pereira, and welcome, San Guatemala. Let's start now. So, Kawinda, let me introduce you. So for everybody that has been following our Saturday classes, uh, Kawinda is my, my, up, my downline leader, but also my sister. And I had started the classes in Spanish. And they were like simple classes that started growing and growing. And then we saw that there was a need for the English market because Dave Daughtry kept asking me, what about the English market? Because that's what we did. We always started with Spanish and then the English market always felt left out. So I said, well, the thing is that, you know, with the social media and Facebook, um, a lot of the Spanish people, they're just helping me with the class because I just start talking and we all start sharing, which is how we do our classes. It's a sharing class. You probably know a lot of things we don't know. We didn't study this. We're learning and we're just showing what we learn. And so if you have something to share, if you have something you know, Kawinder will just open up and do a, a, a segment, a class, and then at the end, you can tell us what you have learned what you can bring to the to the game, you know, and and then uh, all of us grow. Now the next thing is I started asking Kowinder to help me in the English part because she has been doing amazing for a while, but especially for the past few months, uh, and I'm going to say even the past few weeks have been an incredible growth. And she has learned a lot of things that I want to learn. So we started saying we'll do that in our classes. So Kowinder. Thank you, my sister, my friend. I am so excited to, you know, share this passion of, for life with you, but especially to share these things that you are teaching me and that now we can teach our other, you know, for life family members and anybody that really is watching on Facebook. So, Kawinder, you have the word. If you need me for anything, just, you know, call out. Thank you everyone for joining us. Give a big applause to Claudia. She's like amazing woman for me. Like we know each other almost more than 20 years and we are a good sisters. Now we are a business partners and all of us in this world, like if we are saying knowledge is a power, but like everybody is a knowledgeable, God gave us a knowledge, but like enhance that knowledge every single day we are all learner. We learn things from each other. We learn things from social media. We learn things from books. That's like somebody's experience and we will get always something there. Even my own philosophy, sometimes I say, when you're bored, you start your journey to writing a book. One day somebody will read it like a powerful tool in this earth. And uh, this is me. I'm a mom. I'm a business person. Uh, since like I'm in Canada 30 years, I do everything from part time. I'm a teacher and I do like so many things. Now I'm a, I can say I'm a business woman like from since 18 years. I believe whatever you want to do it, you can do it. But like you need to try it. If you never start anything, how are you going to say like this didn't work? Everything work when you put your information, knowledge, and belief there. Everything can work. It's take time. 
now let's like uh, together we can start learning social media social media is like uh, how i find i never learned computer when i'm doing my studies Com now these days social media is everything everybody is on social media this is a free conversation or like a, i can say this is your other family life on social media you can meet people globally but lots of people they are taking misadvantage from social media too that's why some people they don't want to like share on social media because they are scared they are thinking other side my opinion if like you are using wisely how we are growing we are putting trust and efforts this platform is like a very good platform where you can easily reach one corner to the other corner in the world it's like that easy but we have to put some efforts and um, we have to respect that like platform we have to like care who we talking what we talking and then facebook and or any other social media twitter instagram anything they will support you even linkedin and so many social media platform and the first thing i last week we teach like uh, what is a facebook and page and a group what is the difference we have a, that video still live videos on facebook you can watch again that's like the easy way to create like a little difference i gonna just like a, a review page is a difference where you can share all the information you can advertise yourself you can sell yourself on the page and the group you can do a private conversation too but like page never we go a private group you can do private too maybe like you start as a public then after you can make maybe private if you want to and that's like the little difference and last week we showed this week we're gonna like a share how we can scheduling a post and what we can do how much i learned we will share with you guys let me share my screen and And something wrong. Let's like uh, give me a couple minutes to like uh, close my first site. Okay. This is like a uh, one of my uh, social media thing. Did you guys see my screen? Yes, we can see your screen. You are in the For Life Globally yes. Independent yes. in Canada. Uh, this is like a, one of my uh, page. You can see this is like For Life Independent Globally Distributor, right? And when we see on the top, you will see page, ad center, inbox, COVID-19, appointments, manage jobs, more added page information, setting and help. I hope everybody have a page. If you have, like when we click on help, help section goes straight to the Facebook. We need a help from them and we wanna ask any question or we wanna do anything with the, our page. In the setting, when you click on setting, Did you click on setting? Nothing happened. Nothing happened, yes. Uh, are, you, are you clicking and nothing is happening? Because I see you clicking. Uh, yeah, I do, but like it's both cursor is not going. Maybe it's taking okay. time there. Internet is maybe slow. Yeah, I can see up oh, there awesome. your your wheel is turning. Yeah. So it's and it's, and, it's, and until they pay, and anything is loading. Okay, like they go ahead and. Um, it's Saturday. There's a lot, a yes. lot more people online today than any yes. other day. Yes. Uh, say, for example, that thing didn't work. I click on an inbox. Inbox download very fast. In the inbox, like you can chat privately. This is like your, like I have one friend who's sending me every day. Good morning. This is like good morning message, and I can answer them back. This is a private thing. You are talking now to them on your page. And if like we go back on page, you're gonna click back on page. It 
it's still slow. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it, yeah, it is slow. Oh, it is slow. It is so slow. Me, me, me. It's okay. Just yeah. Uh, when you're gonna go this one or take back on your page in uh, this area you will see here is like a change cover when you click here you can upload choose a photos from you have or you can choose from videos upload photo or video edit any slideshow or move i have a, like this oil thing now if i wanna change I'm gonna click on a camera thing, change cover, then I can upload photo from, or upload video from my video I have. If Coinder, sorry, I'm just gonna stop you when there to do a review to some mm -hmm. of the people, because I don't, we see, a, I see a lot of names. Mm -hmm. So the difference of having a page and your profile Facebook page is that if you were to post even a picture like this, as beautiful as we have the essential oils, uh, Facebook, because of the logarithm, is not going to show pictures that have products with names. <clears throat> if they perceive, it's against the policies and procedures for Facebook. If you read the small letter, uh, it is actually against Facebook rules that you are trying to sell to your friends. It is now a rule. <laughs> you cannot try and use your Facebook to sell to friends. They could take away your account if you do it consistently. Uh, now, say like for example, now I'm changing the pictures. Today's like my grandma's birthday. I'm gonna do this. This is like a, we are showing, like lots of people saying we can't share our privacy. If you have to decide how you're gonna do and, um, brand yourself this is like the one way i can do lots of things with my family and i post my pictures and this is the way this is the one other thing but my page this is a design by uh, for life i design i'm i want to do like things for for life but you have to see but uh, facebook every other day they are asking me run an ad like look at this they are showing like an ad center and they are giving me an option if i want to add but i'm not like doing any ads yet and uh, now in the other thing they are add after COVID, they add COVID-19 on your Facebook areas. If you wanna like just advertise like a, a house happening with the COVID, if you click there, you can promote their things or share your things. And that's the other thing. And they have a like, this is, I make like as a business page, this is like an appointment section where I can create appointments with my clients or anybody like coming on Facebook. And they have a like, um, everything is a depend on you, what you're gonna do. I'm like practicing everything. If I wanna end of the day, I gonna schedule appointments. They have a calendar. Everything is like a set. Facebook is a very easy to use tool. But now we gonna decide if like your budget is allowing you to pay a dollar or $2 or $10 for a week or month, then Facebook help you. My own opinion, I'm thinking I didn't grow that much on that area yet, like where I can pay and find things. If you see on this area, they, everything they say, like how you're going to edit page information, setting and help. When you schedule your appointments, you can do a setting. You can add a context. I didn't do anything yet. Then the request appointment, like when you're going to make or meet the person, everything you can schedule on your uh, appointment section. And the other thing I can say, we can go back on page again. My internet is so slow on this area. It's taking forever. Anyway, well, while you wait, I'll continue with what I was saying. So if you were to post a picture like the oils on your profile, on your original profile, it's not going to be the best because it may not show it a lot. If you post a picture like you and your grandma, then that's a good picture to post on your profile page. But if you have uh, pages and groups, Kawinder has about 10 of them, one of them being for life globally, she can post anything and the people that belong to that group and to that page will see it. And those are people that you have added or that have added themselves to your group. Kawinder's gonna show at the end the, the big group that she has now growing, like I was saying, she caught on to something and now the group is growing fast and she's getting a lot of leads and a lot of movement from that group. And uh, that's thanks to all the work that she's been doing for the and past And 
other thing on this page because this is a business setting page and they have a manage jobs i can create like a post a uh, post a job free but like they are showing as a free if i create anything here like one day i try create a, taking a transfer factor to the world and somebody scan the application and send me an application there but i didn't pay anything i like um, a uh, schedule here and i create like a taking a transfer factor to the world uh, i need a part time and a full time business partner then i left uh, as a draft somebody maybe see it i don't know how and then they send me a application this is like the things facebook doing everything they have it we need to like pay more focus and learn these things and uh, this page when we are saying create a job they have a job posting and they have a application check where customer can do that they can put their application they send us application they have a job post here then if we are learning about a more here's our appointments you can click on cursor notifications like how many page this page i have a notifications 14 you can go inside in notifications everybody i know maybe you knows uh, publishing tools and here you can like go with like find about like how, what kind of tools available there and a page quality if i can go in inside you will see how this page growing and what is there if i can say action to the page this is a page summary for last 7 days um you can see here page views five new is a 74% is growth page preview is a zero nobody like a do like a previews for the last old posts and stuff and one new like that means 75% 1% growth in the last week and post reach how many people reach on the post 1214 whatever i'm posting but nobody connect no engagement nothing then everything facebook shows you on a page insight summary and if we are saying learn more story reach and stuff like where we are going to be learned we going to post like our stories every day everything like it's a depend on your like a friends whatever you are posting or how many people are follow you they going to watch it or they didn't watch it in the summary everything facebook show you if we are saying here in the again in the left hand side they have ads followers likes reach everything is is on the facebook where you can see if you post something any engagement or anybody watching us what we are doing this is like a very good tool i find myself if we are saying added page information Uh, you can like uh, always like a uh, change editing uh, i i change my page name like couple times because like every day every week like sometimes i'm finding maybe this is more catchy depend what you are looking maybe if you don't have jet may couple weeks just like create your page name what you going to be put your page name and what you going to be different i put like this page as a general and i gave a description section description this is a i i put myself this page is designed to add value to your health we don't just sell products we sell science the only company powered by a transfer factor powerful communication malakru be committed to supporting immune system scientifically proven uh, products then i gave a categorize how i categorize is a vitamins and supplement then i give a my information i share my phone number i share my website i share my email and then depend you want to share where do you live and myself i didn't put a address like properly my street address i put like i'm in toronto canada right and if we are seeing in a if i'm going too fast like uh, somebody can raise a hand i can slow down and even left hand side they have a, like a messaging section if i going to message they have a templates and tabs they have event texting i practice like if you click on a event then you can create a event i practice couple times when dave's uh, meeting is on mondays i create a event i put his zoom id everything is online first like um, the facebook or event uh, bright they do like a do a visual meetings and everything now is a virtual they asking when you create a event is a online then they asking a link they are asking you are selling tickets and anything or how many people are there you depend like uh, your how, how you going to create a event 
I will suggest everybody, if like you are coming to our English meetings, we need to create an event on our Facebook pages or Facebook. Why? Because we all talking about a four life and we are just like a mentor Monday. We can give a name for um, our event mentor Monday. Then we create like a Dave's meetings already every day is on there. Then we create an event. Then like the friends I have maybe do not have. When we create an event, people maybe like it. People maybe come and join the event. This is like a curiosity we can all start like doing. We are a part of family for life. We are taking this transfer factor everywhere. This is like one other smallest thing we are doing, but it's gonna be big benefit for all of us. We can get um, more bigger English groups and we can share more ideas. Then after event, they have a notification. Notification means like uh, some people, there's just a scroll down. Mm -hmm. Some people, they like your post and stuff. Everything, when you click on a notification, then that way you will see which post, who see it. Then if you want to write a message, that's the new thing I learned. Most of the time we see or uh, like each other's uh, post, but we never say thank you after. But saying a new person a thank you, sometimes it's like a big meaning. How I learned, uh, one of my pages is uh, Indians in Brampton. It's a community page. It's like a public figure. Somebody um, comment on my post. Then I write, I see like he's a new person. Then I welcome them and stuff like that where the conversation go. He said, I'm a member of more than 200 pages. Nobody never welcome on the page because uh, this is an engagement. When we see each other, we are engaging. That's the way we are selling ourselves. This is a public thing. This is an advanced messaging. If we click there, then Facebook have it designing this thing. I'm going to show you where you can do. Uh, uh, Facebook send a message, automatic message and stuff. The advanced messaging, like they have a couple sections, general setting, request features, and high volume message. I, I didn't like do too much yet, but they have a like if I request, I'm gonna write my own individual message or they can automatically send a message to your person like say, I'm not available or I will call you back and stuff. They have a this section, you can do that. And if we are saying fast Facebook badges, uh, that's also Facebook have a, like a couple categories where, where we can categorize our badge. Uh, I didn't do anything yet. You can make a top fan badges. This is like uh, people, maybe like when we, they are searching, I'm gonna practice this week and see what is this like. A I know I know what it is, I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, mm -hmm. So I follow a page of one of our, so in, in San Diego, California, there's a trainer that likes our products. She's friends with Dave and Gabby. And I really like her, her videos. And so I'm always liking, liking, liking. And so um, you give badges. So the page, not you, the page gives badges to people that have liked a lot of your videos. So mm -hmm. what the winter has been teaching, which is once you create that engagement, uh, every time you post something, if that person repeatedly puts on um, uh, a like or a comment at one point, and I'm not sure how many, but at one point, it'll give that person a badge. And I'm almost thinking that it works like a Google review, which is the more stars or the more reviews that you get, then Facebook is actually going to show this page to more people or this is good. they're going to help you because you're creating value to the community. So you have to remember that Facebook is not our enemy. It's actually our friend and they're taking care of us in the sense that they don't want us to attack our friends that don't want to hear about what we have and that's why we create pages people that want to join pages and groups are because they want to be there it's like a party right i want to learn from what this person is saying and once that person starts giving you likes then facebook gives badges and the other thing i'm gonna ask if everybody is on facebook and you are our friends on facebook fine if not, send a request, become a friend, give a review on each other's pages and groups. That's the way community rise and your group rise a little bit more. If you have a secret group or separate groups, you can share with us, we can do our reviews on you. That's like the other, we can put a values on each other things. 
that's sorry, Coinder, and I, I'm gonna just let, let, let's do a little like when when you say something, I wanna I wanna back you up on something. So just to 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 explain something about that, we should all because we're a family at for life be on our pages. So Evelyn and uh, Amanda and Imelda, all of you should be in Coinder's page <laughs> just because we want to support each other but not on the profile. And this I learned from Jeff, who learned from Ray Higdon, right? Because if you are sending a request to Kowinder or to me, which I get a lot of requests, by the way, I don't accept you if you are from for life. So I have a whole bunch of people that want to become my friend on my profile page. Do you know why I cannot accept you as my friend? And I'm just going to actually ask you to Write it on the chat or raise your hand. Kawinda, I don't want you to lose your train of thought, but I want to create also a little bit of engagement. Mm -hmm. So can you write on the chat or can you raise your hand and tell me why do you think you should not accept for life people in your profile page? Does anybody know? Does anybody want to chat? Give me an answer. Okay. Okay, so I didn't get any hands or, or chat, and so I just want to tell you why. I went, Kawinder, why shouldn't we accept people on our For Life page? I'm uh, sorry, we, on our profile page, our basic we, page. Because we are all computer to each other. We're all, yeah, in a sense, if I accept you, Facebook is going to show my ads to you because we have a common uh, passion, and trust, which is common interest. So they'll only the common interest is that if I post something about for life, it will only really show it to you. So I get a lot of uh, likes from Jay Michael because you know Jay or Kowinder because they're always seeing my posts. But if I'm trying to create engagement with new people, people that I don't know, it's not going to work. So we only have five thousand spots. So it's almost like when you have a wedding and you need to choose who comes to the wedding. Do not feel bad if I have not accepted you in. Facebook, you're not supposed to be my friend. You're already my friend. I'm trying to find new friends on Facebook. The difference is that on the pages, you can have 10,000 people, 20,000 people. And these, this is where we get a lot of the new people uh, and the engagement of a topic that is a common topic that we love. Okay, I hope everybody understood that. You can tell. And uh, uh, we're going to add, even like say, like this is a page for life globally independent distributor. You are somewhere else. Even like you post same product or you're going to share your experience. This is like a new thing. But when we are on like a profile, we are sharing all. I know like when I, somebody put a transfer factor picture, I going to like put a comment. I going to like it because I know about that. But if that product new for me, then maybe you will scroll, scroll down or you will read what is I write or what I say in the video. But if you know already, you're going to say like what she sell, uh, tell about transfer factor, I know already. That's like one other thing Facebook have a catch. And the next part is a page rules. This is like everybody, uh, you can create your page rules how you want to run this page, what is it, like uh, you're going to do, what kind of question you are asking. They show on this roles, like uh, what is the page roles are about. You can create, you can go one by one, assign a new prof page role, page owner who's existing uh, page roles. Like I can add somebody or I want to do just myself. You can put like three people on that area. And if we are going people and other pages, this is like the other thing. I have like a couple other pages if I wanna engage with each other or not, or people can do that or not. Uh, I have it, this is like, they're gonna show all the peoples in here, how many people follow you and when they start following you. And these people only follow this page or they are going to your other pages too. In here, you can find everything. And even like uh, with the setting, if you want to like uh, click this one, say like people who likes this page, maybe if I want to put an effort, I can go one by one, this person, maybe I write today, welcome to my page. Or I want to ask, oh, uh, JC, you know about for life and stuff? Where do you live? This is the your way where you can talk to privately. And this is like very good thing. And if we are saying like the next one is a preferred page audience and how many people is like a prefer this page. 
I will ask you guys, we are watching as a family and everything we are doing. We need to learn little these things like Facebook have their own way to do things too. And I don't have any preferred view or anything. Then they have a uh, politics ads and stuff I wanna do. I gonna do branded content. This is like all about like you, what you want to do on your page, how you wanna do. I wanna do that branded. They are asking, you can put like home search, insight, list or anything apply as an advertiser. These things all, everything is showing, but I connect this page, how I brand, I just one day I'm doing something, I connect with my uh, Instagram account. Then you will see, this is my picture from Instagram and my name, if like persons will see, they can know I have an Instagram profile too. Then email notifications. If I do a emails, I want a notifications and stuff. Tagging approval. If I'm sending one thing to other person, is tag or not? Approve partners. If I gonna do approve any new partner or I gonna edit anything, you can do here or block partner. If like anybody come on this page, I don't want to that on this page or they they are doing some content, I don't like it, you can block the person. Uh, th that page, uh, the Facebook have it, that ability to. Oh. And uh, after that, they have a, a branded, after they have Instagram, WhatsApp featured, cross posting. That means like if um, you are a trainer, I'm with the four life. We are not like, you are not in a four life. We can do a cross posting. I can say, I can promote your post for gym. You can sell my pro TF. This is a cross posting. We can helping each other to post. Then the sport inbox payments, advertisement, appointment setting and page management history activity log. This is everything you can see yourself, how much engagement, whatever, what you are doing on your pages and stuff. That, that's all about the page thing. Now we're gonna go for a schedule. Your microphone. Yeah, I know. Um, well, Kawinder looks for the scheduling part. Um, I also want to uh, say hello to the people that just joined us. Hello, Charles from Ghana, Gloria, and I think I did not get a chance to say to Consuelo before. Those are the people that are joining us now. We also are doing a Facebook group party, and that's another way to promote your own live videos, which is group parties through your pages. So I have this running now in uh, a page watch that party. I have. Watch party. A watch party. Okay, so what was the topic for today? What Kawinder just did, for those of you that came in late, was a review. Uh, she went a little more in depth on each of the things. And it's so much that we could take one class and one hour for each of the things. So I know she's going a little bit fast, but she just wants to show you because she's gone through everything. Like she goes through everything and she tests everything and it's taken her months to test and try everything. And the one thing that she has found that has worked for her very well is scheduling the posts. Because one of the things we kept saying is, and I keep telling her, it takes a long time to go every day and post on your pages. If you are a good administrator of a page, people are waiting for you to post something of value. So first of all, you have to create a post that is engaging. And second, you have to do it every day. Sometimes you can even do it two or three times a day because people are going in at different times. And also because you want to do one that has to do with your company and another one about product and another one about service, depending on you know what you're using that page for. Kuwinder has another page that is called Spices uh, because she likes cooking. And so that, that's why she's very busy. So how does Kuwinder manage four or five pages and not you know have enough time for you know she has five children she has a husband she has a business she's also uh, a, a, a daughter and a granddaughter that visits her mom pretty much every week so how does she keep balance and still be on facebook doing lives motivating people she schedules so she learned this a few weeks back maybe even a couple of months and this is when her other page start, started grow. Everything started growing after she started scheduling. So this is what she's going to touch on, and it's a pretty. It's a lot, but try and try and cap, 
catch as much as you can. And uh, if you have any questions, you can always just uh, write to her through WhatsApp, okay? So now we're going on how to schedule the post so that you're not sitting there every single day. Now, it is gonna take you a few hours. She takes a few hours on one day that she can, and she starts scheduling the post that she has prepared. So it's still work. Like we're saying, work from home means work from home. Like you still have to work. So she works eight hours on Facebook, but it doesn't mean you have to do that. It just means that once you take two or three hours of your day every day, you will use one day to create the post and then you will schedule for the rest of the month. Okay, everybody good? Can you give me a, a thumbs up if you know how to use your reactions? Can you give me a, okay, we're ready to go with scheduling. Does anybody know how to use this feature? Thumbs up on your Zoom. Okay, I don't see a lot of thumbs, so I still need to find out if if I have engagement in my own meeting. <laughs> okay, and, and oh, Claudia even, gave me a thumbs up, and I think Amanda's looking for a thumbs up. Oh, Claudia gave me a thumbs up. Okay, good. Okay, so we're ready for even, scheduling, Kowinder. And this more section, you will when you click, you will see a couple things because Facebook is also doing uh, lots of tools. They are changing a lot fast. If you are not understand like something, maybe you can review video again. We're going to download on YouTube. We're going to download on Dave's sites too. And now it's a live on Facebook too. There's a notification where how many people are engaging. Then insight, what is insight in the page I show you, then publishing tools. When we click there, there's like a two ways you can publish your post. Now you can see um, the left hand side, everything they write, story or cheap, published post, schedule post. Let me like, uh, I wanna like stop one second. Look, my grandma's birthday today, my nieces and my daughter, they make a home cake and they, they wanna cut this cake. They are so excited because she woke up. Today's her birthday. My grandmother is a hundred year old. Stop the share oh, for a wow. second so we can see her properly. Stop the uh, share. Okay, okay, let me. Yeah, her grandma walked a, a marathon. Well, we did a race, a 5K race. It's also a marathon, but Say we bye. did 5K. She walked with us. <laughs> Say hello. 100. Let's happy do happy birthday. birthday. Grandma, happy, happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. 100 years. Happy birthday. Thank you. 100. So thank Happy you. Happy birthday. She's saying thank you. <laughs> wow. Hi, girls. Show the cake. Hi. Show the cake. Oh, show the cake. The cake is homemade. Oh, wow. And she doesn't eat eggs, so we made it with like vanilla It's yogurt. without eggs, like a evening and doing an engagement with our children. They do the things you love to do. Yesterday I visited here, my nieces, and they cook this cake because she don't eat an egg. Without oh, eggs. They see the recipe on Google. They create this cake. I'm super happy all night. They don't want to show her. It's a surprise. She woke up just, they want to cut a cake. Look, they're, they're happy. She's happy. Oh, that's so beautiful. So She's saying thank you. We are teaching her English too now. That's so cute. Okay, thank you very much. Everybody, let's go back. Okay, 10.52. Let's move on to scheduling because we yeah. don't have time for questions. Okay. This, uh, this is all you can read in the left-hand side. And uh, where you can post your schedule, publish your schedule, draft it, expiring post, everything they show here. And you can do even videos. It's a, uh, everything is on a left-hand side and you can create and see. This is like- I'm lost, I'm lost. One second, because I got distracted. I see that you are in publishing, but you, we were going into scheduling, but now you're talking about scheduling. So go back and tell I me. will say all the left-hand side tools you can read slowly, but like oh, I- Oh, I see publish and schedule posts. Okay, okay, okay. And this is like the all the bottom part, you will see uh, how many posts I did and everything on, they have a, like a all overview. When this post is post, you wanna, they're asking me, can I boost a post? 
I didn't do anything yet. Then that post, you will see how many people is reach. Yellow is a reaching. Green one is how many engagements are there. Coinder, sorry, um, I have to stop you one second because you, you need to remember some people don't use Facebook a lot. Boosting a post means that you pay Facebook a dollar a day or $10 a day. You choose how much. We, we won't teach this yet because we're not doing it, but boosting yeah. a post means I will pay Facebook so that Facebook shows it to more people and creates more engagement and you choose the age, the country, the region, how many days, how much budget do you have? And so that's what boosting a post means. And that's why some of them say, do you want to boost this post? And Kawinder says, I'm not boosting at this point. I'm only doing everything that I can that Facebook allows me for free. And so she's not boosting posts. But for those of you that don't know what boost post means, it means paying Facebook to show what you're doing. And it works. It works very well, but it, it's a lot of money. And not a lot it's a dollar a day but for every post it depend on your budget now before it's a dollar a day now they are giving a three dollar a day then they have a budget like a from start from three a day now if okay, you go on blue section this is like a create a post if i click there create a post then i can uh, download the picture or i can write anything whatever i want to do add a photo so you, like, you are scheduling now, right? Like you're showing yes, us how to schedule? Yes. Okay. Yes. You can do the link and stuff and I can say thank you. Why is your blue line on publish and not on scheduling? Can you just go back again? I missed it for a second. Go start from the beginning, how to schedule the post because uh, okay. just cancel that one. Okay. Let me see. Where did like, you post? Uh, the first thing is a publish post. I'm going to do it now. Then they have a schedule post. You can do. This is a one way to do. You create a post. What's the difference between publish and schedule? Because you were uh, you publish were, means you are doing it right now. Oh, you're po you're post posting it right away. Yes. Schedule, yes. you're going to post it for the future. Got it. Yeah. Like say, create a post. When you're creating this post, you can do it. Everything what you're going to write in the bottom, they make a setting. When you click on a setting, you can see the tools. The one for us. The one for us. Schedule uh, one for tonight. Okay. Uh, say, I create, I already click there. Say, thanks. Okay. Then I want to do in color. I can change the colors. Then they are asking news feed or you're going to do a story or Instagram or whatever you're going to do on Instagram too. I can, if I click here, they can go on an Instagram too, but I'm not doing on Instagram. Here, when you click on setting, they are showing new post creation tool. This is like the new thing they do again. They change the things again. Uh, Uh, they are like a changing again. They are asking call to action. You want to put a video because I didn't do anything much here. They are not letting me because I didn't write anything. Okay, I add a photo. They will see you are just fooling around or you are doing real things there. I download, look, uh, I download the picture now. Look, the schedule thing now pop up. Before I just put thank you, they didn't let me to do anything. Thank you is nothing for them, like little thing. You have to write just one word, they don't let you. Okay, now you will see this part they are showing. I'm gonna boost the post. I, if I click here, they're gonna show me a money options and stuff. I'm not doing that. I'm scheduling a post, this like an arrow going down. I'm gonna click here. When you click here, they are saying publish now or reschedule. I'm putting a reschedule. Then today is like a July 11. Now is a time is 11, 17. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna post this like 12 o'clock. Uh, you are like uh, uh, the reason you want to schedule oh actually i'm not going to say that i'm going to coach you uh, again can you write on the chat or raise your hand the one or two reasons why you want to schedule your post why would you want to schedule your post you can write on the chat or you can take off your mic while Kawinder schedules that uh, and this is like i change the time 12 59 and if i gonna post today or whenever you can click on a month, I can change a week, month, date, whatever I'm gonna do. But I'm like a rescheduling today, it's like around one o'clock. 
Amanda, but, uh, hold on, Kawinder, one second, because I got an answer. Amanda, you're writing me privately. Try to change it to everyone uh, because I don't okay. have to pay. It's not really the correct answer because you don't have to pay for scheduling anyway. You pay for boosting a post. Yes, Consuelo, you have one right because it saves you time. I want you to think of the other one. And the other one is really important as well. It's not about you. It's about the other, it's about your audience. What do you think happens? Why do you have to schedule? Okay, I'll give you the answer. You schedule because you specifically will know your audience and the time that they want to see things. So let's say uh, I used to schedule at two in the morning or one in the morning because, no, sorry, I used to post on my Instagram at one in the morning because it was the only time I had. I don't get a lot of engagement because most of my Instagram people are in North America. So if I am in North America and there was a time that I was trying to recruit for Kenya, then maybe Kenya was seeing it because it was seven in the morning over there, but I don't have a lot of people in Instagram uh, for my Kenyan, my Kenyan leads. They're on Facebook. So if your majority of people on Facebook are on a certain continent, and not only that, you know the age group. If there are people that are working during the day and they check their phone after five, you don't wanna be posting at 10 a.m. because everybody's working. So first of all, you need to learn what, maybe don't make so much noise, um, you, first, you need to learn what your audience is looking and at what time they are engaging in your posts. And the only way that you can do this is by posting, and that's why scheduling works, at 10 a.m., at 1 p.m. or 12 or 1, which is lunchtime, at 5 p.m. and at 7 or 8 p.m. And the amount of likes or comments that you start getting, you're like, ooh, I get more comments at 10 a.m. It looks like a lot of my people check their phones in the morning just because they like to check. You know, people do it sometimes at 6.30 in the morning when they wake up before work. Then post at 6.30 in the morning. Don't post on the, the non-peak times, okay? Everybody this, got that? Give me a heads up. Uh, this is a schedule. If I click here, it's going to be scheduled on now, 12 o'clock. Then they're going to post on 12 o'clock. And if I'm going to post oh. next week, 12 o'clock, you can schedule with your dates and stuff. And uh, I'm not like scheduling. I'm going to delete because I post this already. This is my new person. I'm going to delete th this thing and we are going back. Maybe next class we will share these things. I will see if I have any uh, post on schedule on this thing. I will see or otherwise I will show you the other group. Let's go to the other group because it's 11. Well, uh, I want to see the other. The okay, other, this is my page. Like, now. We're no, but like, uh, the group I didn't schedule. I think maybe on Spices page I have a schedules. Uh, okay, this is my page. Other one is a, spice, it's a group, Spices Benefit and Recipes. This is my group. Um, before yesterday, I'm sitting and I did. Okay, this one they are showing two new people want to join the group. I have to admit them. I can write back privately and stuff. If you click here, see here, this is like a four schedules post. My screen is touched down and, but like my computer is, uh, internet is here too slow today. Don't worry, Kawinder. Okay, what, what she's trying to tell you is that now she has used her Facebook to help her uh, show those four posts just the way she showed us uh, so that they can show it one every day at different times this okay, week. Okay, look at this. You found uh, it? Uh, okay. oh, yeah. Yeah, I find this is like a, a schedule post. I have a, like a four schedule post. You will see things here too. If I click if I here in the right hand corner i can add it still again i can add it i can change a date i can reschedule again i can delete the post why schedule one day i'm talking about globe because this is a spices page i find like a couple things globe oils and i take just picture how you can use a cloves for your uh, food and the benefits and cloves i just like uh, do that then i create like this post go every week not like one day every week they can post on and they have already dates and stuff if i gonna reschedule or turn notification or anything they have everything written there then you can decide what you're gonna do 
but I already done my work at uh, almost like July. This fair group is running by itself now. I sit one hour at work. I find the pictures from Google. I can write few things myself, add up, and the way you can run and post because we don't take lots of time. Actual everything we are doing to teach each other to engage the community and bring my, our business up. This is like the new thing. I think I did today. Any question or anything you can ask or everything understandable make a sense for you guys. I, this is this is very good because this is exactly the way that you closed it very good with spices and benefits. This is what we were trying to show everybody. So because uh, we have a few more uh, minutes, we started at ten fifteen. I want to give five or ten minutes for people. And, to and the and other thing, them. like uh, myself, like uh, we need to like change the pictures, like a cover picture or like your profile picture or writing things. Like before, mostly what my uh, this group is, I'm writing everything. But now I choose, like everything is on Google, on things. I find the pictures and stuff. Now I'm gonna show you my one of this group is like growing very fast. Um, maybe now after COVID, everybody looking things. This page is like almost so many long years ago I created. It's a work from home. If we are seeing this page, Think about this is like a same group. This is a group work from home. Last week I put like, I'm like in a pool in my mom's house. We are just sitting there and I put a picture. Look at this group, how fast growing. Last night I uh, add up like more than 198 people in this group. And 161 people want to join this group again. And it's, it is take time, it's lots of work, it's an engagement, then I have to go one by one. I'm like expecting everybody, I'm doing a welcome post. This is like also you can schedule. Like if I click on this group, now the people want to join this group, you can see these people are gonna be shown the different area. Here's like a new one thing is a suggest. Before they don't have this, they have a, like a suggested newest first, first. How I gonna choose the people in this group? I will say I gonna choose uh, oldest first. Then the setting gonna be changed. These people, if they come first in group to join this group. They have a approve and decline. I did like a every day what I'm doing now is like say 162 people want to join this group. I don't have a time to, I can go scroll everybody's profile. I do like a certain people just welcome, welcome. I approve them. I put welcome. I can schedule that post again. I can approve like say three people. Now I'm going to approve it. When I approve, then you have to go back on your discussions. And when you go, uh, I'm going to write a post to them because that's the way Facebook looking. Now I approve like a seven people. Where you're going to see in the left hand side. Uh, I see the seven members. I already approved. They're going to join this group. I want to write a post. How are you going to write a post? Uh, Facebook have everything. They said, let's welcome our new members. And here they have a, like, you, I can schedule a post or I can post it now. I, what I'm doing, I go like a three time a day on my Facebook. How many people want to join this group? I now approve, like now it's already 11 o'clock. Facebook showing, I can uh, reschedule until 12 or one, or I can say like at three o'clock. Then I can schedule this post and at 12 o'clock, this post gonna become as a welcome for new members. And that means it's a lot of work. Then if like 162 people want to join, what I gonna do? I gonna choose five random people. Then I write private message. Hi, welcome, what are you doing? Lots of people, they ask an answer on your group. So I'm learning to, last week I create an answer. And I'm trying, at least my goal this week, I'm talking to three to five people privately. I'm sending a message, some people respond, some they don't. Then I'm learning so many networking marketing company in everywhere. People are joining one month ago, 10 days ago. Then sometimes we are finding why I didn't find you. Other person find you, right? This, this is like the new platform to share your information and grabbing the information from the other person. This is an exciting tool. Like a, now look at this. Like we, I think this is enough for today. We can do next week all setting about the group, how we can do it. 
we can start learning from each other. Whatever you learn, maybe when you're creating your page, you are adding your things, you can share with us like, uh, oh, I find this or uh, this work better this way. Engagement, Facebook looking. Maybe until they are giving us a free tools, we need to use it. Because this is like a very good tools I find because I find uh, last week my person in a Belize, I'm super happy that, uh, that work from home page. I'm sitting, I'm scheduling a post. Then like uh, she pop up, like she said, uh, PM me. I said, what? Like sometimes like my terminology, small words, some time I don't get it. Then I write on private message. If we are saying this is a private or profile, I don't want to share with you are a business person. Even like you go to work, you choose who you're going to talk or who you don't want to talk. But this is like our time now change it like our immune system company look at this like my magazine came last night i'm super happy we need to learn even like in our technology they are teaching us like the app if like our company is immune system like anything i'm not a doctor amanda you are a doctor you are in UK now i'm gonna say like one of my brother joining uh, last week from UK in uh, our four life family he's on call now i see on his on uh, Amanda is like Kashmir. Welcome. Amanda is in like a UK too. How are you, everyone? Hello. Yes, I'm in London. Yes. This is too Hello. Much How are you, everyone? A new member. Very good. Very good. Hello, everyone. And, and other thing I'm going to ask all the people we join in this class can you, if like you send your numbers in like a private chat, maybe Claudia grab it? then that way we can connect each other. We can help each other. That's like the platform we are learning and helping. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Then if any question, we can talk, right? Uh, exactly. Uh, Kowinder, thank you. You have done such a fantastic job. And I just really, I learned so much from her, as I told you, everyone. She is now, uh, all those months and years that she has been building these pages, we can compress them in just a few hours of helping uh, our teams and our For Life family to do this fast. Because now that I'm learning, Kawinder has taken so many hours to learn everything. Ah. And uh, now I can learn it. The scheduling is so important, as you can see. It saves her time. She can spend her birthday with their grandma. And um, I'm sure that Amanda, who's a pediatrician, doesn't have three times a day to check her Facebook. But I'm sure that now that she learned how to schedule, she can do it on a Saturday and then let the Facebook work for her. Uh, and, yes. the other, other, and the other thing I find because um, now social media everywhere, Instagram, Twitter, and then I'm practicing everything because I have an account, same name, everything. The first thing, if you guys have just Facebook, that's fine because you have a one. And the other thing, just like maybe give a time yourself, find yourself how you're going to brand yourself. And hashtags, maybe choose five, six hashtags, which one you're going to choose everywhere. And the second thing, you're going to be decide whatever you are doing, you're going to say like I have maybe more than four groups five pages. I have like 10 things. What I did, I'm still practicing. I'm going to do Monday morning, everything on spices page, nine o'clock post will go. Then next week, I'm going to see how many people watch that page because it's lots of work and we choose, this is a work from home and we are the one going to be take that advantage. I'm still practice myself like a work from home page. Think about since um, last month to now, more than thousand people joined that group. And I, how many I find? One. And how many I chat in the different way in a different country? So many countries, I'm an Indian. I didn't know even like all the world. But like so many people, when they are talking about me, on I'm here, I'm there, what I'm doing, I'm going to the Google, finding where's that country belong, where that continent will long right then i'm looking for life is there or not then this is like one thing if it's not now there but maybe future because our process all whole idea is david's idea taking transfer hey. to the world we are about wow. that journey we're gonna be take it this is the one way think about this google or everything if like you finding kolvinder samra on google now you can see my uh, pages, couple pages pop up because they have a traffic. 
you will see my LinkedIn, Twitter, because I have everywhere same name. I'm not hiding myself who I am. I'm proud of myself, whatever I'm doing. And you guys choose what you're going to be do. And the other thing, we don't need to promote our company, but I'm looking and talking to other people. Some people, they are just saying, oh, I'm a networker, or I'm selling. When I'm talking to them, they are already in a networking company. And uh, we have to be fine. And my own opinion, I say, we need to find a connection. That's it. That's all about. Okay, very good. We get knowledge every day because like we are not doctors. Amanda is a doctor. We have a now doctor on our call too. <laughs> we, very good. Kuwinder, let's close it up so we can let everybody go to other trainings or did, other, because I know we've you, gone over an hour did, now. Did you uh, talk and uh, take their number? Yeah, we have some numbers. I've also put my number and Kuwinder's number and uh, you guys can, uh, I'll check the chat after. You can write each other's number to support each other. Again, I just want to close up with one thing. Remember, if you create a page or a group and you have a question, Ask Kuwinder through her Facebook or through WhatsApp. She will help you. And we meet every 15 days in English. And so we can show our Facebook groups and our pages so that, number one, we can invite each other. We are a tribe. We can invite each other. So if Kuwinder posts something, you write like, like, you write a little comment, and that's going to help her page, and we can help your pages. And we uh, we need to write a private if you want to join us on Facebook or page, join us through the pages, then we can write each other who I am, then we meet and we can expect the, your like a uh, request. And I'm going to do one training in Punjabi. I have a two languages. I, I'm like start doing this Punjabi and English both. We can learn, we can teach each other. If you have a Punjabi neighborhood, you can invite them. That's the other way. This is not like for like we are talking. We are talking about to teach something new. Yeah, Facebook likes that. If you, if I you, learned myself you, like Facebook. how to do this thing. Yes, perfect. So thank you, everybody. At the end, we had a few more people join late, but remember, this is Uncle Winder's Facebook. It's on my Facebook. I'll have it on a YouTube uh, in a week or two. The thing is, I'm not going so fast, and I got a backup of uh, things I have to upload on YouTube for Dave and for Kawinder and me. So we may not have it on YouTube for a while, but we already have it on Facebook Lives, okay? For last week's or two weeks ago, Kawinder did what's important between page and, and group, which we did a summary at the 30 minutes we used of this meeting, the first 30, and, um, and uh, now we did the scheduling. So everyone who can take me through understanding better. Um, HP... It's a, it's a slow process. You have to come to class every two weeks, <laughs> but you can also contact yeah, Winder. But it's, it's really, uh, you, have to learn, you have to open your page and start practicing and then ask us the questions. Uh, and the other thing I will suggest, when you are opening, you can open one cursor our video and then you open your page. When you are listen a little bit video, then go to your page while I'm doing. That's the way I learn myself. This is the easiest thing, not like hard, but like for setting everybody, we're going to have it like a, every week seeing something like improving, something is not working, we can change again. That's like the thing. We, this is like our practice mode. Next week, uh, we're going to have the Spanish training. So everybody that speaks Spanish, welcome to the Spanish training. We may, what we may do if, uh, if, um, if it works and we have enough people and engagement, uh, we'll do one hour Spanish, one hour English, just to get everybody out and you know training and doing. But it's a lot of work also to just even do these trainings, you know, and we could be scheduling posts. But we want to be able to enjoy sharing what we have learned. So we'll see if we continue just doing one week English, one week Spanish. Uh, but maybe we'll start doing them every week. We'll see. Just check Dave Daughtry's page. I'm going to write it again for any new trainings. Mama, for those that missed it, 100 years today. She, hello. She, everybody she, wait. She, everybody she, wait because she can see us. Hey, hello. Okay. <laughs> she's so cute. Hey, she's waving at us. Thank you. 100 years, huh? She is waiting hey. for me to like finish, then she can enjoy me in the pool again. <laughs> Okay, dave.tree.com. So for those of you, uh, please write down our uh, our uplines page. I schedule 
uh, the post uh, there for the meetings on Saturdays, okay? And anyway, for a lot of the meetings that we have throughout the week in English, Portuguese, and Spanish. All right, everybody, I'm going to close it up. And thank, thank you. So much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I would like to say thank you, especially for this English training, because we are, you know, very, very... Um, Little people. We don't have, many, we don't have many, many trainers in English, and we really, we want to expand the, the business, you know? Yes. And all the trainers, every day, five, six trainers in Spanish, but now we have people like Sorani Peroni, who, uh, who is here, She's Colombian, but she doesn't have any any friends in Spanish. She always involved with the Arabic people, with English people, and she really, really wants to do it in, in English. And so I say, let's do it right now. And I was talking to her when just the message came. That's why we were uh, we came late into the into the training today because I was speaking to her. So I, I invited her especially to, to the meeting with you. And thank you so much. And, and the other thing, one thing more I'm going to add. We didn't like a, set a schedule for uh, our Zoom meetings yet. Soon, me and Claudia, maybe like twice a week, we're going to do our own Zoom meetings. And beside Dave's meeting Monday, we're going to choose a day Wednesday or Thursday something. <laughs> If we connect with each other, we can do our English meetings like that way too. You can join. We need to know. That's the way we, we need a connection for each other. We, we need to do our own English uh, business opportunity presentations and trainings, uh, yeah. Claudia. So, so just start yeah. uh, all of us just joining and growing, joining and growing. So thank you, Charles. I'm so glad to see you again here. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Uh, we got our Kenya people. We got our oh, lots of England people, which I love because Kawinder just signed up her cousin. So thank you to everybody in England because we actually were looking for our brothers and sisters in England and we got a lot of them today. So we we'll see you in two weeks in English. Uh, same time, probably. We put it one hour ne earlier, which I know works good for Europe. Uh, good work to be done. Yeah. yeah, and uh, thank you everybody for joining. Uh, any questions, you have our numbers. You can chat with us uh, through Messenger or through WhatsApp. Okay? All yes, right. you. God you. bless you all. Enjoy. Bye bye. bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Uh, I like uh, this is our option. Was he saying something? Okay, we're going to finish now.